Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, SOAP web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. Welcome back. In this quick tip, we would be talking about Richardson maturity model. So you are doing RESTful web services, but how good are you doing it? How do you measure that? One of the most important thing is RESTful Web Services does not define any standards. They are just guidelines. You have the choice whether to, you want to implement something or not. And Richardson Maturity Model helps you evaluate at what level you are with implementing your RESTful Web Services. Richardson Maturity Model basically defines four levels. Level zero is basically exposing your SOAP Web Services in REST style. So if you look at the URIs which are present in here, they are just like your SOAP web services. Get posts, delete posts, get course details, delete course details, and things like that. So these are basically your SOAP web services which you bring in and you're supporting both JSON and XML. These are basically SOAP web services which are exposed over HTTP or web. That's basically your level zero. So you are able to talk to these services over the web, but these are not really using things like resources, actions, and things like that. Level one is where you'd start thinking about what are the resources. So you'd be starting to think about resources, what are the proper URIs to use. So you design something like accounts, account slash 10, but still you're not properly making use of HTTP methods. So if you wanted to create a user, you're not doing really a post to slash users. You're not still following the HTTP methods properly, but you at least have a proper definition of your resources. You know what the URI should be, and you're trying to adhere to them. That's level one. When you move to level two, you start thinking about everything that we talked in level one, as well as HTTP methods. When you want to create an account, you'd send a post request to slash server slash accounts. If you want to retrieve the details of a specific account, you'd send a request to the URI, you'd send a get request to the URI slash account slash 10. So you understand the different HTTP methods which are present and you make sure that they are used in the best possible way. So you understand the different HTTP methods like get, put, post, delete, and make sure that these are used in the appropriate sense. And also, you make sure that the response statuses are appropriate as well. So when you create, you return a create, create a resource, you return a status of created back. When a resource is not found, you'd state return a status of not found back. You'll not return a service exception. So those are the important things when you are at level two. Level three is level two and HATIOS. So you're not just returning the data, you're, so when I'm asking for a resource, you're not just returning the details of the resource, but you're also thinking, what are the next possible actions on this resource? What might the consumer want to do with it? Let's say you are returning the details of a Facebook post. You might want to return the actions related to how to comment, how to like, how to unlike, and all that kind of stuff. That's Hattios. So that's level three. So these are the four different levels of Richardson maturity model. I'll see you in the next tip. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, here's bye from the team here at In 28 Minutes.